Hello, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another Hershey vlog here at Life with Fritzy. We welcome you to our channel. Uh, we had plans to go to Hershey Park today, but unfortunately it is a washout for us. Another washout day and it was just raining, raining, raining. It didn't just start to now. And it's a little late to go into the park. Well, it's not late. I just don't want to go this late. So we decided to go to Hershey Storybook Museum. This tells you all about Hershey, how he invented the Hershey bar, his family, and has many things to us to do inside the Hershey Museum. So come along with us so we can go to the Hershey Museum and check out what they have there. Remember, subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Don't forget to make sure you hit that notification bell and share us out if you like. On that note, let's get going because I don't want to get stuck in the rain. We are the only town in America that has our light post, street light post, in the Hershey shape Kisses. of Hershey Kisses. There you go. A little piece of Hershey. Okay, we entered here at the museum, and this place is so beautiful. This coin uh, helps her so that she'd be able to go around the museum and be able to access the little videos and stuff during the museum. And it's part of the apprentice program for the kids. So it's something cool for the kids to do. They gave Asia a little Hershey coin. And this coin is push English, honey. You're all set now. Look for this glowing icon upstairs. And then you just start in that room. And once you're done in there, go to the right. It makes a big circle here. Okay, thank you so much. Milton Hershey headed to Jamestown, New York on a sales trip in 1897. But instead of selling sweets, he was sold on a sweetheart. Catherine Sweeney, known as Kitty, 14 years his junior. If you remember or know about the Milton Hershey story, you know when he first uh, made the chocolate, it wasn't a success. So he tried and tried and tried until he was able to make it perfect, to perfect the chocolate bar. So that's why it's called the failures of fortune. Remember, through trial and error, you can make your product perfect. His sweet success is here. Look at this. That's Milton Hershey and his wife, Catherine. A Swiss pocket watch from 1892. Wow, look at that. The top hat, 1908. Says he tried and tried again, so he got it right. You can pause to read if you like. And this is the famous quote. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Right here, the Lancaster Carmel Company which that's where he started from. After a decade of travels and travails, pinchers and failures, Hershey returned to Pennsylvania in 1886 and founded the Lancaster Caramel Company. This time he got it right. Hershey developed his own recipes, but this was no one man show. By 1894, he employed over 1,300 workers, claimed the largest caramel factory in the world and added a subsidiary chocolate company. Here you go. Look through the catalog on the counter from Milton Hershey's Philadelphia candy shop. If you had 50 cents to buy some of his candy, what kind would you buy? What kind would you buy if you had 50 cents to buy any of these candies? I can get the bonbons and something else. Okay, right now we're entering the Hershey Chocolate Company. So we're going to be going in here and in here they're going to show us how he made the chocolate. Milton Hershey chooses chocolate. Carmel's brought riches to Milton Hershey, but chocolate was his future. Hershey launched his chocolate company in 1894 as a subsidiary of the Carmel Company in 1900. He sold the Carmel Company, turning his attention full-time to chocolate. Returning to Berry Church in 1903, Hershey began building a new factory, a new town, and a new life. OMG, look at this. Asia's going to scan her coin so they can tell us about the factory. Factory in 1903. Even though he hasn't yet finalized his formula for milk chocolate, risky? Sure. But he was confident that he'd get the recipe right and wanted the factory ready to roll when he did. We're gonna push the button to start the machine. This one says, Can a machine do it? And look at the machine. He started with the sweet innovations of I got an idea. Mutt and Hershey's recipe for milk chocolate revolutionized the product, but it was his recipe for a workplace in which all were encouraged to innovate from small tools to complex machines that kept things humming. Hershey nurtured a creative climate that welcomed ideas from those who understood the challenges best the workers. So the workers were the seeker behind their chocolate. They knew what they had to do to perfect this chocolate. How do you wrap a kiss? 
Milton and Hershey capitalized on the idea of wrapping confections individually, making it easy to sell them anywhere. But odd-shaped kisses were tough to wrap efficiently. From 1907 to 1921, each was wrapped by hand, mostly by women workers, paid by the piece, received five pounds of kisses, foil, and a stack of hard-to-pick-up tissue squares bearing the Hershey name, which are wrapped inside the foil. Stop the kisses. A kiss is still a kiss. Sing the World War II film Casablanca, but was it? Wartime rationing halted kiss production from 1942 to 1949. Aluminum foil for wrappers was unavailable. The company stopped the kiss machines while it focused on churning over 1.6 billion ration bars for U.S. troops. President Grover Cleveland touched a golden button in 1893, inaugurating Chicago's Columbian Exposition. The fair marked the 400th anniversary of Columbus Voyage by celebrating American arts and industry. It has introduced Americans to hamburgers, Cracker Jack, and the Pledge of Allegiance. The expo drew more than 27 million visitors, including Milton S. Hershey. We're going to enter the innovative theater and see what this is about. Oh, wowzers! Check this place out, guys. Creating a delicious milk chocolate is an amazing process. And Hershey's making chocolate is all about innovation. Today in 1932, wait, a Hershey bar costs just a nickel. But my mother says that before Mr. Wow, five cents for the fresh Hershey bar. Five cents. Fifteen. He's turned this exotic sweet confession anybody. Richard Poor can buy and enjoy. That was real, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> I mean, it does look like it, it looks kind of real, it really does. And this is how they grind the cocoa beans, just like this. Turns out like this. Have you tried Hershey's chewing gum? Six sticks for five cents. You can't even find the Hershey chocolate gum today. Look at that. Five cents. Ah, to go back to those days. Look at that. The Hershey's mint flavored chewing gum. Six, six sticks for five cents. I mean, seriously. Look what it looked like. That was the Hershey chocolate chewing gum. Hershey's Chocolate Company produced chewing gum from 1915 to 1924. Its gum package often advertised other Hershey products. It even has soap flakes. Hershey Estate's excessive network of dairies produced milk for chocolate. It also sold milk and dairy goods from 1929 to 1971. Ice cream. Well, we, we, still, we still enjoy the Hershey's ice cream today. Chocolate, cocoa, and soap. Hello, Asia. <laughs> and keep a family favorite fresh and modern, yet easily recognizable. Wrappers for Hershey's milk chocolate bars have evolved over time, with the maroon and silver color scheme around since 1906, and the full Hershey name has always made it instantly familiar. Wow. 1894 was Lancaster Karma Prong Company. 1900 Hershey's milk chocolate first sold commercially an American icon for over a century and then we got the old commercial ET Reese's Pieces if anybody's old as me as an 80s kid you remember this commercial and this poster with ET Reese's Pieces ET's favorite candy Brad you would love this the Hershey cocoa drink that's how the chocolate used to come back in the day and the tin can. And the tin can's rusted. It well, hello, it's old. It's, it's history, Asia. And there's nothing even in that box. Well, they're not going to have nothing in the box, Asia. <laughs> These are all history. These are artifacts. The Hershey syrup. The Hershey syrup. What's that? Hershey Chocolate Company. Hershey to you. 10 cents for some chocolate back in the day. <laughs> they need to bring those prices back. This was the Hershey milk chocolate look, Mom, they had to it down. like they had a store look at the cash register <laughs> wowzers they look at that the cocoa look they what it looked like back in the day they had to glue it down they had to glue the yeah down. look at the cocoa nibs mm, wow the like cocoa that. beans cocoa butter oh that's so good and chocolate liquor this is also a museum if you want to come and get to know a little bit more about Milton Hershey, how he is an American icon and American inventor, come over down to the Storybook Experience and you can see all this for yourself of how beautiful he had this. And by one thought, one dream, one idea, 
turned him into an icon. Hershey Park back in the day, look at that. If any of you watched my post and picture that I put up on my community wall and seen what Hershey Park looked like way back in the day when Hershey Park was first created, you'll see it. You wanna go look at my community place and check it out. But this is a pillow. And this is what Hershey Park used to look like back in the day. Look at that. This is how Hershey celebrated look, their holidays. We got Christmas, we got Mother's Day, Hershey chocolate for Mother's Day, and we got Hershey chocolate for Easter. And that's what Hershey's bunny used to look like. And this is what the wrapping was for the Hershey chocolate. Check that out. Who remembers the crackle bar? I do when I was a kid. And this is the first crackle bar. Hershey's crackle, it's crispy. And that's what the kisses you see packaged up like. Just like that. That's what Hershey used to look like. Look at the factory right back there. And when you go in the monorail in the park, you can see those two pillars are still standing. When Milton Hershey returned here in 1900, he didn't just build a factory, he built a community. Many industrialists provided housing for workers. Milton Hershey had a grand vision. He created culture, resources, parks, and education. He encouraged people to buy their homes, giving them a stake in nurturing their town. He imagined a place not just for workers, but also for families. And this is how he was building the town of Hershey. Ain't this amazing? One idea, folks. This tells you, honey, if you have, you believe in something and want to create something, don't give up. Try and try again until you make it because you will make it. And this right here is a movie, Hershey movie. We're going to sit here and look at the movie for a little bit while Asia uses the restroom. During the Great Depression, a construction worker boasted to Milton Hershey that two steam shovels were doing the work of 40 men. But Milton was more interested in employment than efficiency. He asked them to ditch the machines and hire more men instead. Look at the bags and pounds of sugar. Wowzers. Look, Hershey had a school for boys. Milton High School, the alumni. Check that out. And these are the cheerleaders, workers, inventors, basketball. Hershey even had a junior college. And cheerleaders too. Yeah, those are the uniforms for the college, football. Look at that. <laughs> what do you know? You learn something new every day. Check that out. Hershey Estate Dairies. Hershey Hotel that way. Working in Hershey. Those are the uniforms. The Hershey Store Company. In their words, living in Hershey. Harry James performing at Hershey Park Ballroom with vocal buddy De De DeVito. DeVito, the cat. Ken and Kitty Callen. Kitty Callen. In 1945. Hershey's Community Building Look. Library. 1932 to 1965. Hershey, Hershey Park souvenir photo of Frank Simon, age 18. Hershey, Hershey Chocolate, Chocolate Factory, Factory visitors Factory. receiving free samples following tour 1950 to 1960. That's why when you go to the tour, they give you the free chocolate at the end of the tour. They want to keep that tradition alive. Mm -hmm. You know how when you go in the, on the, on the Hershey Chocolate Factory tour where the, the cows are singing, well, they give us a free chocolate at the end of the tour. Why? Because when they, that's what Milton Hershey did when he first opened the factory. How much? And James Bob at Hershey Gardens, 1940. Alma, Alma Bob. Bob, 1948. Robert Smith served as director of music at First United Methodist Church from 1948 to 1999. Hershey Park Swimming Pool and Water Slide, 1915 from to 1920. Four more pages. Betty Heisley Baum, right, picture with members of the Federate Women's Club, 1966, members of Hershey Chocolate Corporation, office and staff. Gary Church Schoolhouse served as a Hershey Country Club, caddy house from about 1930 to 1960. John Baum, president of Hershey Bank, 1974 to 1977, and Francis German, 1957. Raleigh Hughes accepting the delivery of two kangaroos for the Hershey Park Zoo in 1967. 
Rolly Hughes showing in Alba Crow in 1950. Wrapping Department Hershey Chocolate 1925 to 1930. Female Hershey Chocolate Factory employees standing in front of office building in 1915. Hershey Lumber Company employees 1933. Hershey Lumber Company 1933. Oh, Look at the scale. The same skill they used back in the day. Look at that. So beautiful. We're gonna walk around so you just can get to see a little bit of what the museum looks like. How beautiful this place is. We're just gonna take a little walk around the museum. guys we're into where it says explore Hershey and this is telling you about the transportation the Hershey tours when you come to chocolate world you get to do the Hershey tours Hershey story chocolate factory began before there was even a town it all started in 1900 when Milton Hershey sold his Lancaster caramel company but kept one area of the plant for chocolate production three years later Mr. Hershey started building a factory in town in the cornfields next to Derry Church. Soon this model town would generate more jobs, homes, and prosperity than folks had ever seen. This is Local awesome. It tells you all the story, the history. To the Hershey Chocolate Factory. Oh, it's beautiful in here. Railroaders got busy hauling ingredients to Hershey. This is Hershey. You look to the future in his own words. Now you must use an unbelievable amount of cocoa beans. We use much, as much cocoa, raw, raw cocoa beans as France, Switzerland, Italy, and Spain put together. Hmm. How large is your town, Hershey, Pennsylvania? Hershey, Pennsylvania has a population of 2,500. Back in the day, it was 2,500. Now it's way over that. Here you can deposit your coin in here about the community, the children, the culture, or the education. So Asia picked education. Oh. <laughs> this right here is called Mr. Hershey's Cuba, a sweet venture in sugar from 1916 and 1946. Visit Mr. Hershey's Sugar Town, Hershey, Cuba. Wow. Begin your venture in the Hershey Cuban Railway. Take a tour of the sugar mill. Look at sugar crystals with microscope. Spin the centrifugal machine. Build your own model town. Watch Hershey's team play baseball. A sweet learning experience fun for the whole family. Here we go. In 1916, he seized the Hershey Seas an opportunity control to supply of sugar and a such ingredient in milk chocolate. He built a railroad town and mill and sent to Hershey to produce sugar. His influence changed one community in Cuba forever. Located 90 miles south of Florida, the island of Cuba is roughly 42,000 square miles, slightly smaller than Pennsylvania. Mr. Hershey paid the best prices. The Hershey Corporation was considered the best paying, most honest sugar company in Cuba. I know that's right.
guys, we are reached the end of the video. I'm going to close this video, give it a couple pointers. There is a lot to do in the Storybook Museum. Um, the reason I didn't record, like, I mean, I recorded a lot, but I try to keep the videos kind of under 20 minutes or less. I don't want to do real long videos, it kind of takes up a lot of time on YouTube. But if you really do like what you see in the Storybook Museum, if you don't have no time to come to Hershey PA or you're unable to, you know, money and all that, I totally understand. So what you can do is leave your comments below. I can do a live of walking all around the Hershey Museum, showing you different things. The things I didn't capture on the video and the pictures I didn't capture, I can put it in the video. Or I can do it on the live, show you how things are made, show you how to do things. It's really cool. Just let me know in the comments below. The Storybook Museum is very affordable. It's only $14 from adults, $10 for children. And like I said, in my video of the Hershey Gardens, I will link that up here so you can check it out if you haven't checked it out. You can actually bundle the Hershey Story Museum with the Hershey Gardens and have a bundle with that and make a whole day out of it. You can do that as well. Remember, stay positive, stay motivated, stay inspired, stay inspirational. Most of all, stay empowered. Remember to empower somebody else's life and never forget to empower your life to be a better you than it was the day before. Also remember, if you want to keep up with us and what we're doing at the parks and what we're doing anywhere we go, don't forget you can hit us up on our socials. You can check me out and follow me on Life of Fritzy at Facebook, Life of Fritzy on Instagram, Life of Fritzy on Twitter, Fritzy H and Snapchat, and also we're on TikTok at Life of Fritzy. Every day above ground is a great day. Every day that we're living in the is an awesome day. Remember, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notifications of every time we post an awesome video here at Hershey or anywhere else we go. Don't forget to give us a like and share us out. We hope you enjoyed our video. We hope you enjoyed everything we did at the Hershey Museum. We hope that you really, really enjoyed this video. On that note, love, peace, and a ball of hair grease, and I'll see you on the next video. But until then, always have a Hershey Park happy day, and always stay Hershey kids happy. Bye, guys. See you on the next video.